If I were 18 years old right now, you know what I'd do? Mm. I would go, I wouldn't go to college. I would go find a plumber, electrician, somebody who has a uh, specialized field of knowledge that need, we need more plumbers. We need electricians. We need people in those fields, right? Mm -hmm. And learn that two years, save up money, right? Become a master electrician in that process, mm. buy a primary residence, boom, I'm 20 years old, I got a primary. Now all my buddies who go to college, they pay me rent. I have three mm. bedrooms, right? And they pay me rent, right? Then in another two years, I buy another primary residence and I rent that one out, either to my same buddies or I buy another one and rent it out to whoever. Mm. I don't want to be a landlord, Aaron. You pay a property management company 7 8%. So $1,000, you pay them 80 bucks a month to manage the property. You don't have to be a property, a landlord, right? Right. Then you do it again at 23, 24. At each time, you enhance the property, minor changes, minor things. You don't have to pour money into it. 24, 25, you buy another one. Now you have three properties, and there are two of them rented out, and you have equity in all of them. By the time your friends are graduating school with $80,000 of college debt, no useful skills you have three properties and you have a ton of equity and you have money in the bank and a specialized field of knowledge right think about that now who's doing that probably not a lot of people we need to play a repeat on that a few times and take notes seriously think about it yeah if you were 30 and you could have three or four homes right right and then you hire, you know, you hire and you build your own electrician business, maybe using the equity right. from one of the properties, rates drop, whatever, you refinance it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You never sell. You sell, you pay taxes. All you do is you go, you get more debt, right? Right. Somebody else pays the debt. Mm -hmm. The tenant pays the debt, right? Are you cash flowing on every property? Maybe not, but you get tax deductions, you get depreciation, you get all those tax advantage things for being a property owner, right? So simple things like that could change somebody's life instead of going down the, you got to go to school to be successful. I don't know about you, but were you fed that shit? 